All right, welcome in. I'm here still battling a cold, but I can't let that stop me from ending this two-game losing streak. Fortunately, we have Army coming in at 3-6, and six, ranked in the hundies. 29 degrees out here at West Point. Gabriel Crooks, the senior quarterback, with 15 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. <laughs> That's not good. And neither is this user defense. Is, oh my god, Abdullah just knocks my guy backwards. And the Knights aren't coming in here to get blown out. Look at this run. Amazing tackling effort. And god, Carl Coleman facing down the vicious stiff arm. Matt Oliver on the ensuing kick return. And the senior wide receiver is gonna take it to the house. Touchdown truckers. All right, fireworks to start this one off. Army throwing the pass, going deep down field and caught on the ricochet. Horrible throw, two guys there and we can't make it the play. Third down and 10 and it's caught. Another pass, and it's a touchdown. 14-7 Army with four to play in the first quarter. David Kelly breaking the tackles, and uh, just not a good tackling effort, or maybe they're just not that good. Just bounces right through that seam, and it's 14-14. Gabriel Crooks rolling out to the left stop and gets through to the senior tight end, Dustin McFadden. We're down to the 12, the handoff to Kelly. And he's getting into the end zone pretty easily there, flexing on him. 35 points in that first quarter. It's 21 to 14. And here goes Kelly again. Gonna take it to the house. And I, we're scoring every single time we're touching the ball. And here goes downtown Terry Brown to the seven yard line. Hand off to Kelly, powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown truckers halfway through the second quarter. It's 35 to 14. But you know Army ain't gonna go down without a fight. Another missed tackle, and it's Snyder running up the sideline. He scores. 35 to 21 with two to play in the first half. And so oh god, ensuing kickoff. Terry Brown just blasts a dude. Takes it the distance. Two kick returns for touchdowns. It's 42 to 21. Picked off by Kellen Green. And Army's quarterback is injured and out for the rest of the game. We kicked a field goal after that. 45 21, the halftime score as the teams combine for nearly 700 yards. Okay. Not a good throw there. Interception number 15 as there's two black jerseys. And the cadets here having a blast with all the points. Abdullah right up the gut and he breaks free. And he's going to go all the way. We can't make the tackle. Fire off the cannon again. They're going to go for two. It is the backup quarterback Jackson and it's nearly picked off. 45-27. Are we going to take another kick return to the house? As here goes Oliver up the sideline, and he's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Crooks out of the play, action, stop, and find Frank Williams. Gets down inside the Army 30-yard line. Going to the right this time, and it's caught by Brad Schrader. Nice catch there. Takes us down to the 6, the play action. And throwing on the run, finds Rashad Lewis, the backup tight end. Touchdown, truckers, as we take a look at one of our finest students. Boy, these cheerleaders in this game wear next to nothing. Crooks rolling out to the left, and the guy is standing right in front of him. What an awful pass. Interception number 16 on the season. Handles the high snap, and able to turn the corner. Gotta have quarterbacks with speed. If you're going to play with me, I have no idea how I'd be able to do anything with a pocket passer. Finds the tight end, Dustin McFadden, and we're down to the five-yard line. The pitch back to Kelly, and what is that? Five scores? Four scores? And there she is again. Wow. 59-27. Dave Show on top as that's a fumble on the pitch out of the option. Gerald Wilson falls on top of it. Let's go score some more points, but first we're going to put in 
the second team offense and defense. Curtis Bennett, the backup quarterback with the pitch to Mike Weber. He takes it into the end zone without being touched. 66 to 27. Army not going down though that easily. Although the backup quarterback Jackson there fumbles the ball and I think the cadets have seen enough. Saw quite a bit. 66 to 27 the final as they combine for 1100 yards of offense. We only had two third downs and David Kelly yes five touchdowns on the afternoon. Sets up the Battle of the Spears as our starting quarterback, Gabriel Crooks, will be suspended for one quarter. It's going to be up to David Kelly to pick up the slack, but it's not stopping Coach Corso from picking the truckers. Florida State 3-8 and eight on the year. They started ranked 5th, and it's Lorenzo Booker breaking through the Oxnard, California native. 7 nothing Seminoles early and the backup quarterback Curtis Bennett not doing much here in the first quarter and off to Booker again breaking through tackles hurdles a guy and another and takes it in another big run for number 28 14 nothing Knowles late stages of the first quarter it's third and one and Bennett can't pick that up we end up punting to the Knowles again Mike Rouse, I don't remember this guy. He's got the catch, long score. 21-0 Florida State, early second quarter. We can beat up on the crappy teams, but when it comes to teams that are more at our level, we're just getting dominated. All right, Gabriel Crooks is back out there now. Runs into a sack. It's Ernie Sims with his second sack of the game. Third down and six here at the 31-yard line. Throws it up and easily batted away. Several white jerseys. One for six. Crooks is starting out. 45-yard field goal from Robbie Irvin is good. And with less than two minutes to go in the half, it's 21-3 Florida State. Picked off by Kellen Green. It's Drew Weatherford, the freshman quarterback. Picked off by the senior here on senior day. Spikes the ball on the Florida State sideline. And I guess they're okay with him doing this whole display. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do something with the ball here. Lont <laughs> intercepted. Pat Watkins comes up with it. He's my safety in the Madden 2005 Las Vegas show franchise. Not a good throw there. And now Florida State looking to add to their lead. It floats this one up and it's picked off. Gerald Wilson's got it and he's running up the sideline. The 2010-5 touchdown truckers. Florida State desperately trying to keep us in this thing. The halftime score, 21 to 10. We only had 50 yards of total offense in that first half. Okay, now we're down to 44. Pitch back to Kelly, and we're down to 42. Goes down as a safety as Cameron Wimbley gets him. 23-10, Florida State. And another pick from Weatherford. It's Jeremy Carter. And can we get ourselves back into this thing? Gabriel Crooks, one for eight with an interception. Roll out to the left, and wide open is the running back, David Kelly. Takes it down to about the 12-yard line. Going one way and then the other. Out of the way, ref. Crooks can't get the ball out. Sacked by Sims, I believe, again. But personal foul face mask. And don't see Bobby Bowden reacting like that too often. Well, he's not reacting at all nowadays. That falls incomplete. Second and goal. Crooks roll to the left again. And going to try to turn the corner. Gets absolutely destroyed. Not like seeing your quarterback take a hit like that. And then he's nearly intercepted over the middle. Settle for the short field goal attempt. And he misses it. And when I say he misses it, I mean me. Absolutely pitiful performance. I'm getting worse at this game. But Florida State, Drew Weatherford, fourth turnover of the game, this time by the fumble. Dave Show takes over at the 13, and absolutely pitiful pass there. Ross with the interception. 
Don't remember that guy. I named every single player on the Florida State team. And it's 30 to 10. Crooks backpedaling and finds downtown Terry Brown. Roll to the right this time. Stop and find Matt Oliver. Takes a big hit inside the 35. Roll to the left this time. Throwing on the run and has caught by the tight end Dustin McFadden. Roll to the right and able to get that one off. Second and goal over the middle to David Kelly. Down to the five. The pitch back to Kelly. And he can't get in. Well, fourth and goal. We get it. And it's 30 to 17 as Weatherford throws this one up and it gets through. Don't remember this receiver either. 32 seconds on the clock. The fullback's gonna run it in, go up 37 17. 25 seconds on the clock. Crooks throws it up and another interception. Michael Ray Garvin comes up with it. We get blown out 37 to 17. Go to eight and four on the season. We're one for nine on third down, negative four yards rushing. Lorenzo Booker, they got away from him all those yards in the first half. And they tried to throw it. Packed house for the Poinsettia Bowl. Don't think that's ever happened. Or a packed house for San Diego State. Intercepted by Kellen Green, and he's going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Truckers. Pick six in the early going. Frank Williams on the kick return. He's running free along the sideline. Touchdown, Truckers again. 14-0. 14-3 now here. Final minute and a half of the first half. It's Terry Brown with the juke, and he's going to take it into the end zone. 21-3 show. And we got the ball back in Aztec territory with a minute to go in the first half. Finds Frank Williams over the middle, and boy, we like playing against the inferior competition. Diving catch from Rashad Lewis, the backup tight end. Puts us up 28-3 at halftime. All show in this one. Throwing back into the middle of the field. Picked off by Mason. Let's try to get these guys back in it, I guess. Just an absolutely terrible throw. Aztec fans have something to cheer about. Didn't know that they existed. San Diego State got a field goal out of it. Then they got the fumble here. As we're trying to, like I said, trying to get them back in it. What are with these uniforms? This is the team that tries and goes way out of their way to be ugly. Okay, over the top. Kellen Green whiffs on the coverage. It's 28 to 16 now. Can we put these guys away? Kelly running an open field and then fumbles again. And San Diego State falls on it. They got the ball back here with just over four to play going deep. And this time, Kellen Green's not getting beat deep. Able to come away with the interception now. San Diego State with the ball back with two to play. And it's the running back running away from the linebacker. Goes about 90 yards. Now it's up to the offense to try to run out this final two minutes as it's a one-score game now. David Kelly with the big carry there, but it's third and two here. And Kelly runs right into the defender because I am incompetent behind the sticks. 20 seconds to play. Outside to Pratt. Okay, they go no huddle. And then they go handoff with 13, 12. Okay, I go no huddle again. And handoff again. And this time we tackle him before the first down. Got to hurry to the line. Just horrible calls. And we get the dub 28 to 23. Shut out in the second half. Turn the ball over like crazy. But we get to win the Poinsettia Bowl. Oh, whoop de freaking do. Went one for eight on third down. Held them to one yard rushing. Those three turnovers. 20 interceptions on the season for Gabriel Crooks. It was a rough one, but 8-4, roll truckers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.